Welcome to Data Viz Daily. I'm Kevin McGinley. If you've watched prior episodes of DV Daily, you will notice or recognize that I'm using a data set that I've used in the past, a listing of active businesses in the city of Los Angeles. And I did a simple sort of row count here of all the records that we have in that data set, and there are over a half a million. And if you recall in some of the prior episodes, there were times where the you know, whatever it is that I was trying to do was a little bit slow on this half a million row data set because the file's pretty big and because my virtual machine is a little bit small for that size data set and the types of things that I was trying to do. So fortunately, there's a new feature in 12.2.2 that allows us to reduce this data set down to just the things that I'm most interested in. So if you recall in the last episode of Data Viz Daily, um, I worked with something called the new data flow feature. So we're going to go ahead and create another data flow here and show you how I can sort of reduce this data set down to a more manageable number. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to my data flow. And there is a step um, called aggregate, which allows me to take a data set and aggregate it down to a, a sort of a higher level of detail. Now, when you get this step, you get these group by columns and you get the aggregate by columns, um, which you know are usually going to be your measures. These are usually going to be your attributes. And the problem that we see right away here is that I get every single field within the data set. Well, because there's only one row per business, um, we don't have, this isn't like sales transactions, doesn't really make sense to group by all these different attributes. So what we need to do first is I'm going to go ahead and delete this step. We need to actually use a selected column step or select column step to grab just the columns that we care about. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them all because it starts off by, uh, you know, adding every single one. And I'm just going to grab the zip code. I'm going to grab the industry and I'm going to grab the council district. This will be a good way for me to roll up this data set and I'll go ahead and grab the location count as well. And now what I can do is come in here and add another step which allows me to do the aggregate. So you can see right out of the gate I've got my measure over here. Um, I've got the various uh, uh, zip codes, industry, council district here. Um, and if I want I can come in here and do a preview. And you'll see that I've got my sort of location counts, zip code, which in, in this case, there are some nulls in there, council district, the industry, etc. I can add in my last step, which is to save this to a data set. Call it something like that. And then I can go ahead and run this. So it's actually building that new data set right now. It takes just a couple seconds, it's done. And I could save this if I wanted to, to re reuse it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go right back out to the home, create a new project, and show you, um, you know, what, how this works now. So if I come in here to add this to the project instead of the actual listing, um, I can come here to location counts, and do a tile. And the number I get is 18,240. Now you may say to yourself, hey, wait a minute, there were over a half a million locations. Shouldn't that be different? Well, if you recall when I was building that aggregation step, I actually kept count as the aggregation rule. So this is counting the rows that are in the data set. So I've taken a data set with over a half a million rows and reduced it down to 18,000. If I want, I can come back in here and change this to sum um, because that location count was just a number. So we can sum it up across the entire data set. And you'll see our sum is now back to over the half a million records that we used before. So this is a great way to take a data set where you know, maybe you want to perform some higher level rollups on that data set. You don't need all of the details. I still have that data set out there. I can always go over to the details if I want in a, in a different project. But for this project, I can have things be a little bit faster and zippier by reducing the data set down to a much smaller count just based on the attributes that I, that I need for a particular analysis. So that's another example of the data flow feature within Oracle DV Desktop 1222. Thanks for watching.